for people that aren't familiar with the Holly boob, give us a, a quick rundown on what that was about. Oh, uh, we pull it turned, up, Austin. We gave the Hollywood sign a boob job. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, that's what I'll say. Everyone in LA has got a boob job. We figured we just you know help the town out a little bit and turn it into Holly boob. So they just changed it recently for uh, yeah Rams house. It looks like shit. You, I was gonna say I saw that and I thought of you. I was like Jack did this way better. Yeah, yeah, like, we their, did it better in like twenty minutes. Bad. What yeah. happened? They did. What? They changed it to Let's Go Rams. It says or Rams house. A Rams oh. house. Yeah, but it was like barely even legible. Yeah, this is the raw footage. And you got a? Did you get arrested during this? Yeah, I still have community service because of this. Actually, wow. Yeah, that's my buddy Ricky. He was actually uh, he wasn't even supposed to help with the Holly Boob prank. He was just coming out there to do a Bigfoot stunt with me. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, this is the Super Bowl. Oh shit! Straight to the Super Bowl. A uh, uh, random Super Bowl clip. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a mashup. This oh is probably somebody God, else's page dude. that ripped your shit. Oh, no, this is your page? <laughs> is it? Oh, yeah. You just decided to throw in some... I don't remember. I, maybe it was just... Oh, that was just the intro. I was just talking about uh, what was going on in the future, probably. But this is, yeah, this is like the raw footage of the Holly Boob sign. But yeah, I went to jail for this. What did they charge you with? Just trespassing. Just trespassing. No yeah. vandalism? Huh? No vandalism? No, charge? no, because we didn't That's actually surprising. do anything to the sign. It was didn't, just didn't placed there. We didn't, like, paint on it or anything. True. Yeah, we got that thing up there in a baby stroller. Like, I had to push a baby stroller up a mountain with that giant tarp the size of a body that weighed, like, 100 pounds. <laughs> and that was the only way, because we actually tried this twice. This was the third attempt. We tried it twice in the middle of the night and, they got, and like, almost got <clears> caught. <throat> We were trying to sneak up the mountain, and uh, they were shining lights at us, and they, like, pulled, brought in a helicopter, and oh we all, like, God. scattered, like, cockroaches. Mm. So you had to do it during the day. Yeah, so we're like, all right. How, we had to rethink it. We're like, all right, we'll do it during the day. Broad daylight. Mm. We're going to start from the top instead of the bottom and just rush it and try to do it quickly. That's sick. Wow. Yeah, but on that topic, like, I, I don't worry about making content because I feel like we've made so much content that there's always going to be people that are going to check back because we're always like the best is yet to come. You know, we're always going to keep making videos. Mm. I feel like there's just always going to be people that are going to want to check back on what we're doing, whether it's a week from now, a month from now, a year from now. Like, I think that we've established a pretty core audience in everything that we've done. So, mm. you know, I, I always want to keep content outflow out, but I also have been really wanting to focus on like bigger projects, like maybe doing a stand-up routine or like buying land and opening megalodon ranch and allowing people to come hunt for shark's teeth with us and you know maybe make some documentaries i have a couple crazy ideas for documentaries just like really yeah just like documentaries that you would release on your youtube page no i'd want to um i'd want to like shop them on the platforms like you know maybe get something on netflix or hulu whatever anybody who's interested yes you know, yeah Netflix is so crazy, dude. There's like, there's so many fucking shows on Netflix. It's almost impossible. It's like, how could they? There's so many fucking like long form series on Netflix that come out every single day. It's hard to keep up with all of them. They <laughs> want content though, you know, and they're a good place to release content. And they're actually paying pretty well. Like, if you're an influencer that has like a really good docu series or documentary, something like that, they'll actually pay you good money to really release it on their platform because you're going to be bringing your fan base to their platform. Do you know of anybody who's transfer transitioned from YouTube to Netflix as far as like career wise or content wise? Uh, Sam Macaroni, he's the guy that directed Guest House, that movie that I was in. He oh, made yeah. YouTube videos for a really long time, Did and he? now he's full time director. Okay, that's something I've always been interested in too. Is just like getting into like shooting some real content while everybody's out there f making fifteen second TikToks. I want to like learn the ropes of the film industry and maybe like shoot some really sick documentaries Hell like yeah. like like deck hands that shit was awesome you know that was yeah. one of my yeah, favorite series that's my favorite <clears throat> shit ever and like that's some shit that easily could go on netflix that people would enjoy you know yeah and like i don't know i've been going to mexico for 10 years straight like even talking about turner like i feel like that's a crazy documentary too like yeah i don't think anyone 
on the platform on YouTube in history has ever gone from a hundred thousand subscribers to ten million as quickly as Turner did. I don't think it's ever happened. No, dude, it yeah. can't. It that was, was so crazy. He yeah. went so nuclear, so fast, such dude, a short amount insane. of time, like world famous, like <laughs> yeah. in one year from being a kid that was playing video games like in the back room of the house. You know, it's, it just. I know. Didn't even make sense. Like he didn't. No. Even, he didn't care about anything. Like the crazy thing I always tell people about him is just like. Like, a lot of people just try to chase all the trends, you know? He, he did the opposite it. of that. Yeah. He did the opposite of that. He yeah. stayed in his room, and he kept playing video games. And then one video game came came about that just happened to be the kerosene to the fucking match. But you just cannot <laughs> deny his fucking skill, too. Oh, He's skill. so... Insane. So nuts. Like, he just won an Apex Legends uh, I saw that. Rivals tournament. That was yesterday. That's a huge tournament. He doesn't play Apex Legends very often, and like he did, certainly doesn't practice it at a pl- pro level, you know. And he's uh, and there's a the clip tournament. that just went viral of um, yeah, they're doing like the the interview of the finals, mm-hmm. and they're like asking him a question, and he just tornado to beer <laughs> on sick. stream, like on the Twitch rivals like <laughs> live stream. That's dude, so sick. Yeah, and he's like talking shit too, like. I don't understand how you can not play the game like on a professional level and not He's uh, just his too in-game good. IQ. Yeah, he just outsmarts everyone. It doesn't ma- matter how mechanical yeah. you are. He'll like He's just smarter. Yeah, he'll just do He's some one shit. step ahead of you. It's not, I think he's more like 40 or <laughs> like 50 10, or 60 yeah. steps ahead. Uh, I've crazy. watched uh, you, you have you ever seen the the pops of like his fingers when he's playing. Yeah, like do you remember, do you remember right games? before he blew up? Like right, you right the, before blew up with him. I made that little video. Yeah, the little documentary, like the ten minute documentary. Yeah, it got millions of views. Now it has like five million views. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. that was like right. That was like the day I uploaded that was like the day he officially joined Phase. Yeah, yeah, they made they make it make it Florida look bad. <laughs> do you ever like? They're from Florida too. Do you ever like stress out about like what kind of? content you want to make or like what types of videos you want to make next or do you just kind of just do whatever you want and and just like film it and if it turns out good you just decide to post it it's like yes and no you know i I always want to make really good content but i don't stress it because i feel like we've made so much content over the years and like we've consistently in my opinion uploaded really good content over the course of like eight years you know like even if we take a long break from doing something like you know, and like the most comments that I got about the Jig Squad channel being dead was, hmm. you know, like, no when it was like right before we did Holly Boob, and like there was all these people like, oh, you guys are washed up, you know, like blah blah blah, this and that, and like people are gonna say everything, you know, and it's hard to not focus on the bad comments, but once you like take a break from uploading, like there's gonna be people that are gonna talk a lot of shit, and then we like do the Holly Boob stunt and prank and pull it off and it's like on every news station and like getting millions of views across all these different platforms.